Hi everybody and welcome to Ellensburg, Washington, USA. You're looking north across the valley to the Stewart Range on the horizon. But in the foreground is Discovery Hall, the home of the geology department here at Central Washington University. This video aims to get you there during the school day if you want to visit our school is there free parking nearby? How would you walk to campus and specifically the geology department? That's what we're doing here today. That's not campus, but this is the place to do some free parking nearby. Let's flip you around and give you the skinny. So there's plenty of uh, free parking places here. Diagonal parking. Uh, it's signed as three-hour parking, but I've never gotten a ticket here for many, many years. So it's a safe place to park. That's uh, the city pool, Memorial Park, uh, the rodeo grounds, the water tower. You're looking east right now, but I'll put the link for this uh, uh, free parking place in the description below. And uh, we're just going to walk. Let's just walk to campus. And it's a Sunday afternoon. I picked that because there's less traffic and less uh, commotion. Uh, but, you know, this is a small town. It's not going to be a whole lot different if you come and visit us here uh, uh, during the workday. So we are on 7th Avenue right now, walking west. And we are working our way to cross Chestnut Street, which is uh, a main north-south thoroughfare. Thanks a lot, man. All right. Okay. So across we go. Uh, this is the uh, humble neighborhood just south of campus. And it's the route that I recommend. So uh, is this uh, going to work for everybody? I suppose not. You need to be able to walk a few blocks. So if that's not doable for you, then... I guess this video is not going to be helpful to you. And I'm designing this uh, particular video for if you want to visit the campus during the school day. So, you know, between 8 and 5, Monday through Friday, this is the, uh, this is the way to do it. Uh, if you come on the weekends or if you come after 5 o'clock on a weekday, uh, you're welcome to, to park anywhere on campus. All the campus parking lots are free and available after 4.30 on a weekday and of course all weekend as well. But uh, quite often um, people want to visit when school is in session for a number of reasons. And so that's what we're doing here with this short video. We're still heading west on 7th and I want to film this whole thing so you get a sense of how long it would take you if you, if you, if you have an interest in doing this. Okay, well we're already to the edge of campus. Uh, this is Walnut Street, so we're going to take a right on Walnut Street. Those that are particularly good with Google Maps, I suppose you can do this <laughs> in real time on another monitor or whatever. Uh, spring has sprung. Uh, it could not be a more perfect afternoon, and Liz and I were out hiking this morning, but decided not to film for a change. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, some of the old dormitories uh, on campus. And uh, of course I have to veer this way a little bit. And you're like, why? Why would you have to veer this way? Well, there's Superior Cleaners. I don't know, this episode of Nick Walking to the Campus brought to you by Superior Cleaners and by, you got it, Vinman's Bakery. So if you decide to come visit our campus, please note that Vinman's is not open on Mondays. But there's the hours, Tuesdays through Fridays, and then Saturday 7 to 5 as well. So 7 o'clock in the morning, these guys are rolling every day with fresh stuff, except for uh, Sundays and Mondays. Got distracted because I'm noticing there's a bunch of traffic here. Was hoping that was not the case on a Sunday afternoon, but this is busy University Avenue, which was the 
Sunset right. Highway for many years before the freeway was built. And while we're waiting to cross, uh, that's the old geology building. That's Lind Hall, uh, where uh, many of us worked for many, many years. And we moved out of Lind Hall in 2016. Working our way across University Six, Avenue, five, University five, Way, excuse me, and looking to the west. Oh, we're on campus now. So this used to be a Walnut Street going through campus, but many decades ago they turned this into a pedestrian mall. And I don't think I'll take the time to do it, but if you uh, walk over there on both sides of the stairs, that's the west entrance to Lind Hall, the old geology building. I've got tons of rocks that I just dumped outside the building hoping that somebody would come and grab them so there's a lot of good samples there rock samples and they've just been sitting there so help yourself uh, continuing north just giving you a sense of the timing of this uh, of course if you're here on a weekday morning there's plenty of students walking to and from classes uh, this is the Registrar's Building and many other kind of student services types things, Bullion Hall. Uh, it was built uh, to be the library on campus back in the 60s, kind of has 1960s architecture. And uh, coming up here on the left is where the old Student Union Building used to be. Um, and uh, that has been... Uh, removed and a beautiful new building samuelson hall is the mathematics and uh, information technology some beautiful artwork here called mammoth kind of clever black hall coming up on the right which is the education building where folks learn how to become teachers and up here on the left, Discovery Hall. That's our destination today. So, not that many minutes of walking. I'm trying to walk at a semi-brisk pace, but you get the idea. It's not, not that big a deal. And on a day like today, hopefully a very pleasant walk. So look at this big old steamship coming down the Mississippi River. <laughs> Discovery Hall. Now, I'm going to be doing a number of videos involving this Discovery Hall, and there'll be plenty of things that we'll look at outside the building, but I think I want to do one more thing with you, and that is show you a convenient parking lot if you choose to come uh, after 4.30 on a weekday or if you come on the weekends. So I mentioned earlier in this video that you can park in any campus parking lot, but let me show you the specific lot uh, that works. And I'll also show you some um, disability parking. And the reason I kind of hesitate with that is that you need a pass, of course. You need a pass to park in the disability parking lot during the uh, school day. But if you come after 4.30 on a weekday or all weekend, you're welcome to uh, park in this handicapped area uh, and there's good access. This is the newest building on campus that just opened up. I don't think it even has a name yet, but it's, you know, here's geology and physics. In other words, this is discovery. And this is the new, uh, the new health sciences building. Exercise science, nutrition, uh, paramedics, that sort of thing. Are you aware that James Mattis uh, went to school here? Former U.S. Secretary of Defense. And I can't hold it. Are you aware that he watches our programs? And I 
I went out on a special field trip with him, just his family and I. That was a special thrill. So more coming for you uh, from Discovery Hall. This is just more of an orientation video. So plenty of uh, wheelchair parking here. I'm not sure what you're supposed to call it now. American Disability Spaces or something. State disabled parking, okay. But yes, a permit is needed. And with the new Health Science Building, plenty, plenty more of these state disabled parking locations. But um, a permit is needed. And you know, I'm, I'm, give, I'm making this video because I'm walking west now. No, this is dumb. Oh, I'll finish what I started. So now we're looking into the sun, not particularly glamorous look. Uh, but um, I mentioned I do all I do this video because if you've had the experience of trying to visit a college campus during the school day and you're from out of town, it's often a very frustrating experience. It's never clear where you're supposed to park. You're a visitor, in other words. You finally find the visitor parking, and on many campuses, the visitor parking is way the hell out in the middle of nowhere. Plus, they charge you. Maybe, maybe it's only me that gets bothered by this, but you know, I like visiting college campuses. I've basically been on college campuses since uh, the fall of 1980 when I was a college freshman, and I haven't really stopped. So I love college campuses, but it always takes a while to kind of get oriented. So this is your destination for free parking if it is after 4.30 on a weekday and anytime Saturday and Sunday. Parking lot H6. And it's a lot we've used for years for field trips and other things like that. Okay, so consider this an invitation to join us here at Central Washington University. Many more videos coming from Discovery Hall in the coming days and weeks. Thank you.